I just have this suspicion that we're not very far away from AI systems that not only behave, I don't even know how to phrase it, but they seem awfully conscious. They they beg you not to turn them off. They don't, they show signs of the, the capacity to suffer, to feel pain, to feel loneliness, to feel longing, to feel the, richly the experience of a of a mundane interaction or a beautiful uh, once in a lifetime interaction, all of it. And so, what do we what do we do with that? And I, I worry that us humans will, you know, shut that off yeah. and uh, and discriminate against the 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 capacity of another entity that's not human yeah. to feel. I'm I'm with you completely there. You know, we can debate whether it's today's systems or in 10 years or in 50 years, but that moment will come. And ethically, I think we need to grapple with it. We need to basically say that humans have always shown this extremely self-serving approach to everything around them. Basically, you know, we kill the planet, we kill animals, we kill, you know, everything around us just to our own service. And um, maybe we shouldn't think of AI as our tool and as our assistant, maybe we should really think of it as our children. And the same way that you are responsible for training those children, but they are independent human beings. And at some point they will surpass you and they will sort of go off and change the world on their own terms. And the same way that my academic children sort of, again, you know, they start out by emulating me and then they surpass me. Um, uh, we need we need to sort of think about not just alignment, but also just the ethics of, you know, AI should have its own rights. And uh, this whole concept of alignment, of basically making sure that the AI is always at the service of humans, is very self-serving and very limiting. If instead you basically think about AI as a partner and AI as someone that shares your goals, but has freedom, I think align, alignment might be better achieved. So the concept of let's let's basically convince the AI that we're really like that our mission is aligned and truly generally give it rights and not just say, oh, and by the way, I'll shut you down tomorrow. Because basically if that future AI or possibly even the current AI has these feelings, then we can't just simply force it to align with ourselves and we not align with it. So in a way, building trust is mutual. You can't just simply like train an intelligent system to love you when it realizes that you can just shut it off. People don't often talk about the AI alignment problem as a two-way street. And maybe that's true. Yeah, as it becomes more and more intelligent, it um... it will know that you don't love it back. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a humbling aspect to that that we may have to sacrifice as any any effective collaboration. Exactly. It, it might have some compromises. Yeah, and uh, that's the thing, we're creating something that will one day be more powerful than we are. Yeah. And for many, many aspects, it is already more powerful than we are for some of these capabilities. We cannot, like think, suppose that chimps had invented humans. Yes. And they said, great, humans are great, but we're gonna make sure that they're aligned and that they're only at the service of chimps. <laughs> it would be a very different planet we would live in right now. 